I have a list of questions here, okay. like I said, and we're gonna go up a level on the labor simulator yeah. for every question. Okay. And you tell me when we get to a level where you just, you either tap out and we stay there for a while, or we can move up to that next level. First question. Go find my hard body. We're gonna start okay. off in your wheelhouse here, buddy. Okay. First question. What is a better film, Godfather yeah. or Goodfellas? Oh, Godfather. Godfather, tell me. I thought you were gonna ask me a hard question. Okay, well, how about this? I thought you were Godfather gonna ask me part one? Or Godfather Part Two. Godfather Part One. Now, if you asked me, Michael, what's a better movie, Godfather or Me, Myself, and Irene? Then I don't know, because now we're talking about two of the greatest. There's no way you like Me, Myself, and Irene. It's my favorite movie. Really? Oh yeah. Really? I didn't. It's an amazing. Every scene on that in that film is okay. Well, we're going up a level. Okay. Tell me when we get to. Hold on. Okay. No, how about we're going to do this? Why don't you tell me who's a better basketball player? Michael Jordan yeah. or LeBron James? I'm more of a Tiger Woods fan myself. Tiger Woods? Yeah, I would say Tiger Woods. Uh, I, I, I know that I don't like LeBron James because he's a jerk and a big lib. And I know that Michael Jordan is at least somewhat nice to uh, conservatives. So I don't know anything about basketball, but I would say I support... Michael Jordan. I'm getting very nervous, by the way, as you keep uh, yeah. playing with that machine. You know, you said you can't feel it, so... <laughs> oh, I just... No, 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 I feel it. Hold on, did it kick in? It kicked in. Okay. Yeah, okay. So tell me, Michael Jordan or LeBron okay. James? Because you're talking about Tiger Woods over there. <laughs> it's sort of like I'm just being tickled right now. It's like a nice <laughs> little... <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I would say uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan would be Okay. Answer, yeah. Now you're feeling it over there? Yeah. All right, level three. There we go. Yeah, okay. Every fall season from henceforth, you can only indulge in one. <laughs> Pumpkin spice lattes uh -huh. or candy corns? Uh, I would say, if I could only pick one, <laughs> clearly the pumpkin spice latte would be my answer uh, because you, what do you, well, you got to pick up that machine like that. I don't, I don't, I, because candy corn is great, but you know you can only eat so, so much. So I, I expected this to be uncomfortable and to, to hurt a little. But I it's did, tickling. It, but, <laughs> well, you know what? We have something for that. It's called level four. Is it level? Okay, great. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Does playing sports provide a value? in society. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. It does because it teaches you teamwork <laughs> and it trains your body. It's important to, to train. <laughs> it's important to train your body, you know, uh, so that you can handle things like being electro electrocuted. And But it's it teaches you sacrifice, you know, and that's, that not everything in the world is about you. It teaches you... <laughs> it. <t> <laughs> <laughs> and so that's that's why I support sports. Have you tried out for a sport? Level five. Oh yeah, I level five. Okay, I um, <laughs> I I played little league for eight years. Did you know that? No, I did. And I think I probably got three hits in 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 all the years. And. <laughs> And I, I, I played right field a lot of the time because it is, this is true in all of baseball, but especially in Little League, especially in Little League, it, that's where they put you when you don't, yeah. when you don't uh, play very well. And so the one thing I would do, though, David, I don't know if I've told you this, but in, because I couldn't hit the ball very well, what I would do is I would lean into pitches, okay. like, like sort of Don Baylor, you know? And so my on-base percentage was actually pretty high, but my, uh, my batting average was not, not great. Batting average not great? Not great. So last night we saw a hit in the Dolphins football game. Let's talk football for a second, where <laughs> Tua Tagovailoa was knocked out of the game. Would you allow your sons to play football? Uh, you know, I'm not at great fear that my sons will exactly be eligible or desired for football teams. Just, I'm, this is no false modesty, but we're not exactly sort of hulking uh, linebackers in the Knowles family. <laughs> uh, but but w if they really wanted to, I would consider it. But it's a it is a real risk. I mean, I would ask you. You know, I mean, you you played at a very high level. Yeah. Would, uh, what, would you? Would you? I think about it all the time. I think that uh, I think I am going to allow my sons to play football because there are so many advantages to playing the sport in terms of uh, discipline and punctuality and things. I'm a better man for having played the sport, but when I see something that happened last night, I do get fearful. Yeah. Are you ready for level? Are you ready for level six? 
I guess I am. Okay, well, this is perfect timing for this because from Twitter, on a scale of one to a Kamala Harris speech, how painful is this right now? It's not painful. It's just very... <laughs> it's just very... Because it, it, it's not... For those who are just watching right now, it's not... It, it, it's not constant. It's just like a yeah. little... It's, it's acting... <laughs> It's like, <laughs> when I laugh, it becomes harder. It's just like someone, it's like what I do with my kid, or if you're just okay. sitting there, it's just like, you're just like, uh. <laughs> so you're, you're good right now then. <laughs> like, I'm defined good. <laughs> <laughs> That's level eight, buddy. This thing goes to 25. Oh my God. So eight, now Now it's starting to become somewhat painful. Okay. But, it's, but it's <laughs> How about this? Who's worse at keeping internet secrets? Adam Levine or Hillary Clinton? You're on, le you're on level eight. I would say uh, uh, Levine is worse. <laughs> <laughs> Levine is worse because he didn't wipe the hard drive. But, but Hillary, she has bleach bit. If Adam Levine had bleach bit, he'd still have a perfectly fine situation. Okay. All right. <laughs> Does praying before a ball game give you an advantage? <laughs> uh, yes, praying always gives you an advantage, no matter what you're doing. Now, does that mean? Does that mean that you're going to win the ball game? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, so no, level not, ten there, buddy. Is, sir, it's not like the new age. Like you're going to manifest. I'm going to win the ball game. It's it's like it 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 just when you are closer to God. <laughs> relationship. <laughs> I clearly should have prayed more before this segment. How about uh, this one? Yeah. Despite pagan roots, will you allow your children yeah. <laughs> to trick or treat? Talk to me about Halloween, Michael. It's not really pagan. It's, it's a cr cr Christian holiday <sighs> because it's right before All Saints Day. So it's not, okay. it's not pagan at all. Of course I'll okay. have <laughs> So no problem with Halloween then. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but I, I won't. I won't let them do. Uh, I won't let them do like weird devil stuff. Like they've got it. <laughs> no, 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 good. No weird devil stuff. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah, they got to dress up like I, last year. Last year, my kid was. He went as Saint Michael the Archangel. So I had him in like a little gladiator costume, you know, and he had like these little. <laughs> You're doing great, man. We're up to twelve. Oh, good. So, 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 trick or treating is good, right? <sighs> so good. No devil stuff. No devil stuff. I know you're a learned man when it comes to the immaculate conception. Uh, as much tell as me, the next guy. Tell yeah. me what you know about the immaculate reception. The immac <laughs> you know, well, so people people misunderstand the immaculate conception because they think it refers to the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. But it, it, it actually refers to the conception of Mary without original sin. And so uh, that, most people don't know that. And, uh, and I certainly don't know a damn thing about the Immaculate Reception. <laughs> so could you please enlighten me as to what that is? The Immaculate Reception was a football play it was a pass that was completed from Terry Bradshaw with the Pittsburgh Steelers to Franco Harris, and it really mm -hmm. defied the odds. And I think that it got the, uh, the nickname, the Immaculate Reception. Do you find that uh, sacrilegious in any way? I find it somewhat sacrilegious, yeah. but not. Uh, there are many more offensive things <laughs> that I've heard. And I don't think it like quite reaches the point of you know, bla uh, like blasphemy or something. So. I, I heard you in there talking about divorce. Uh -huh. um, I know you are also a learned man when it comes to King. Henry VIII wanting uh, to be divorced from, from Catherine. <laughs> what would you have done if you were King Henry VIII and your wife couldn't bear children uh -huh. and you couldn't get divorced? What would you have done in his shoes? What would I? Well, look, I mean, there's no river so long it doesn't contain. <laughs> King Jane of Ben, so I. <laughs> King, King Henry, you were saying? I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm not sure what I would, would have done, but, it, but uh, how are you but, doing? Are you hurting? You tell me. We need yes. a safe word. Uh, <laughs> we need a safe word. Like, I, 
<laughs> oh, it's, it's awful because it, like it does. It, just, <laughs> it does hurt to some degree, but it's it also tickles. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's like, you well. <laughs> They call you, you're known as Nostradamus. My question for you, Nostradamus, is would you want to know how long you will live? Down to the exact day, no, would you want to know? No, I, no? I think I do know. I think it's about, like two more minutes. Have you ever pretended to know more about sports to impress a woman? Uh, 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 well, like, I guess it would have to be me knowing it. Anything about sports. So if I ever like even mentioned a football game, it would be it would probably be. <laughs> what is the most important line in the US Constitution? Uh, uh, provide for the general welfare. <laughs> Because it proves that our Constitution is a document intended for the common good. That's beautiful. DeSantis or Trump, 24 yeah. right now? If you, if you voted today. <laughs> if, I, if I had to pick between only those two, yeah. those are my two choices. <laughs> I'll have you know you've made it higher than uh, Ben Davies. So yeah, far. I'm not surprised. But what am I at? <laughs> <laughs> You're up to level 16 right now. I'm only at 16? <laughs> what? Oh, oh no. Uh, I would say, uh, I'm very impressed by DeSantis. But I just haven't seen him at a national level yet. So I'd, I'd probably, I'd probably... I'd probably trust Trump a little bit more, but if there were a primary, DeSantis could totally convince me because he's got all the right instincts. What? You know, you're a Yankees fan, right? Yeah. Fan. You're up to 17, by the way. You're a Yankees fan. Aaron Judge is chasing the uh, the record for he 62 already, home runs. He, yeah, I mean, he... What look, would you do if you caught that ball? You giving that back to Judge? Or are you, are you going to eBay with the ball? No, I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm at least keeping it for me and my posterity. But it's it's I'm glad you phrased the question that way. Because officially the home run record is what? It's like 73 because of big headed Barry Bonds. Yes, because but that's of steroids. Fake. It's yes, totally yes. fake. So Maris is the record holder. Yes. And and Judge is totally gonna you break. You and my, my colleague Jake Crane are big <laughs> on that. You're at 18. <laughs> Who affected more change in the world, Michael? Martin Luther. <laughs> <laughs> or Martin Luther King Jr. This is from director Mark. Martin Luther. Martin Luther created the modern era. He he was he was the end of the Middle Ages, and ah, uh, he just completely created modern life. Whereas Martin Luther King did sort of establish a new constitution in America through the Civil Rights Act. <laughs> but that is different. Uh, in in degree from what Martin Luther did. All right, we're almost done. Do aliens exist? No. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm, I'm not totally positive, but I'm like, I'm like 99% positive. <clears throat> 99 is pretty good. Yeah. I have one for you here. A uh, a Catholic, <laughs> a Catholic, a Protestant, and a Jew walk into a bar. Yeah. They should watch where they're going. Am I right? <laughs> I knew I could get you to laugh at my jokes, Michael, as long as I had a labor simulator. <laughs> last last three here. One, do you blame your producer, Ben Davies, for your loss? Yes, because I don't know anything about football, so I could have just picked by throwing darts at a dartboard, and I would have done better than freaking Davies. I think I'm, like, losing the whole thing right now. Because, because Ben Davies is a genius war room. I think you're good. I think you're doing good. Uh, last two, one from my wife. Do you appreciate your wife more after this right here? I, after this experience? No, I didn't know it was so funny to give birth. <laughs> I didn't know it was like, like it's, the experience that I now believe labor is, is like when I watch a Norm MacDonald special. <laughs> wow. It sounds great. The, All women right. should be eager to give birth. Last one, level 25. <laughs> this is from your wife, <laughs> sweet little my, Elisa. Is from sweet little Elisa? Yes. <clears throat> Would you be able? Yeah. To come home and help with the kids today at 2.30. At 2.30? Yes. Well, 2.30 is usually when I go to the dentist. <laughs> because why? Explain it to me. 
your tooth hurties, right? <laughs> explain it. Please explain it to me. All right. You're done. What Unplug. am I at? What am I at? 25. You made I hit 25? Yeah, suck it, Davies. All right. Well. Davies only made it to 10. Oh, he made it to 10? 10. Yeah. That, um, that was a what very... That was a honest. very degrading experience. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I would have bet against you to make it to 25. <laughs> no, you know, I, I actually have a relatively decent uh, pain tolerance. Mm-hmm. But what I did not count, I, I thought that I would be able to handle the, the pain of it. What I didn't bank on, the tickling. 